Arctic Ocean acidification poses a large threat to food sources in Alaska and potentially globally. Melting sea ice has allowed Pacific water, which is already high in carbon, to flow and build in the Arctic Ocean. As the Pacific winter water moves north, it absorbs additional carbon dioxide and increases the water's overall acidity. Environmentally, melting sea ice rapidly exchanges carbon dioxide and causes more meltwater. When the ice freezes again, it pushes acidified water lower and spreads to deeper waters. On top of that, the oxidation of methane melting subsea permafrost holds the potential to create rapid acidification. The modified Arctic water moves into the North Atlantic and influences the regions there. Due to the changed pH balance in the water, certain sea organisms like clams, mussels, and sea snails have difficulty building and maintaining their shells. This can affect the entire food chain, hurting aquatic animals that eat these smaller organisms. As the food chain develops, it hurts human societies that utilize these organisms in ecosystems. The Red King Crab Fishery in Bristol Bay, Alaska, found that acidification might cause a long-term decline in harvests. The most obvious and progressive change that could be made is to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases. This will help a lot of environmental problems, including the acidification of the Arctic Ocean. Increased research is also incredibly beneficial. Potential research can provide answers as to how this changes ecosystems, how it will affect other waters, and how it can change long term. More Arctic-specific research supplies information regarding the effects of ocean acidification and economic consequences. Many scientists also support bringing forward indigenous knowledge as a form of gaining other sources of information.